there. And here comes Hurst. He's got some people on the pitch. They think it's all over. It is now. Hello and welcome to a new series of They Think It's All Over, the half-hour sports quiz that's 29 minutes longer than the Bruno Tyson fight's going to be. <laughs> Our team captains are a solid middle-order batsman who's played many times for the MCC, Gary Lineker, and a crap footballer, David Gower. <laughs> Assisting David is a comedian who reminds everyone of their mum. That's mum, the Roland deodorant. <laughs> Lee Hurst. And with Gary, a comedian so hairy that Michael Jackson wants to mate him with bubbles. Rory McGrath. <laughs> David's special guest this week is an actor who's been described as having the face for the 90s and the haircut of the 70s. <laughs> Men behaving badly is Neil Morrissey, and with Gary, an Arsenal and England striker whose forthright opinions to referees have provided hours of fun for lip readers everywhere. <laughs> Ian Wright. OK, we're on to round one. It's three points for a right answer and one for a decent try. So, bad news there for the Scotland rugby team. <laughs> and we start, as usual, with our goal celebration round. We show our teams a post-goal celebration. And what we want to know is why the players have chosen to celebrate in the particular way that they do. David Lee and Neil, your goal comes from a 1995 league clash between Aston Villa and Chelsea. The ball knocked in towards Mark Hughes. Hughes holds it up, turns and twists, knocked it back to Wise, and Wise has scored! This taxi driver incident, yeah. when he was sent down, right, do you know, because I sent him to prison, it was yeah, quite yeah, funny yeah. in its own way, and, uh, <laughs> and he sort of, he cried, apparently, he was a bit shocked in, in, in the court, because he's only a little bloke, isn't he? And he thought, if he's in prison, when he's in the shower, there's a shower with Dennis Mann on, and, um, <laughs> And I think that's the correct answer. <laughs> is it his yeah. brain that's attached by a, by a nail, isn't it? He's got a brain attached yeah. by a nail, and the excitement of the goal, just kept, the nail came loose, and he was just patting it all back. <laughs> is it because he's like a little bloke, and somebody's had a pop at him and said, oh, you're like a little boy, and he's gone and scored and gone, yeah, I see, pat himself in the little boy. I mean, that was my serious answer, because there was no laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. I'll hand it across. Any ideas? Well, uh, can I just say, actually, um, Nick, while we stopped, uh, that if this is a football game, Incredible. We'd win, wouldn't we? Because we've got two of the best strikers in England and Gary Lineker on our side. <laughs> I was sitting in the crowd. Right. And he went, look, I've got a haircut like you. <laughs> no, he didn't. No, it was... <laughs> right, you know, did, you... did you and Dennis Wise go and see Forrest Gump together? <laughs> And what happened was there was a guy giving him a bit of stick from um, up in the upper tier at Villa and he had a bald head and so Dennis was just tapping his head saying, hey, I bald it, I've done it. Yeah, which amongst football is like a really good joke. Isn't well, it? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, point out, Ian, that you've got your baseball cap on the wrong way. Oh, yeah. Jesus. That's Thanks, funny. Rory. Jesus. They do come with, they do come with instructions now, yeah, don't I, I didn't realise. <laughs> <laughs> now, actually, Ian, you're right. I'll give you one point for that. Let, let's let Dennis explain for himself. And what happened, I, I got a lot of stick from uh, a, a fellow, a bald-headed fellow up on the top of the stand. He kept giving me stick before at the warm-up. So I, was, I pointed to him and I said, that I thought, I, if I score, I'm going to go over to him. And that's why I was going like that to him. And he knew it was. <laughs> <laughs> he was kind of amused, wasn't he? Oh, he liked that. Oh, did he ever make it out of school with a voice <laughs> like that? <laughs> he sounds like that Dick Emery character. Dad, I've got it wrong again. <laughs> Gary, Rory and Ian, your celebration comes from this season's second round of the FA Cup. It's a clash between the mighty Hereford and the not-quite-so-mighty Stevenage Borough. Well, the uh, non-league side, you feel, have threatened a great deal without providing the decisive finish. Oh, fortunate break for Crawshaw, and Stevenage have done it! Are they sponsored by um, Always Ultra Sanitary Towel? <laughs> Can I just ask, you're the referee, Nick. What is no, I'm, I'm not the referee. It's just, <laughs> Ian, I'm, I'm not say. the referee. <laughs> <laughs> I am the quiz master. Don't worry, I'm not saying nothing. So I don't can, want to go back now. You can call your Muppet. If you want, and Little Hitler, whatever you want, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've read something somewhere that um, one of them teams in the FA Cup, you know, they have these trivia things about how 
they get special people in to train them and this and that. It's either they got someone in to train them in ballet or something, I don't know, or they saw it somewhere, ballet. Yes, Ian, I have to give you that. Three points. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Stevenage Borough, that team there, they had a former Brazilian World Cup player who used to play for them mm -hmm. from the 1970 World Cup. They used to play for Stevenage Borough. Just a bit of trivia there. Who was that? His name was Yorso. Yeah? Yorso Gullible. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Set up! Well, let's actually let Stevenage scorer Gary Crawshaw explain for himself, just to prove Ian right. Well, basically, we had a couple of uh, ballerinas come down, local ballerinas from Stevenage, to uh, work on our flexibility and stretching and balance. Although I wasn't there, I just thought it'd be quite funny because the lads were absolutely pathetic at it, you know, prancing around. Thought it'd be quite funny to, you know, carry that on after the goal at Hereford. It's not often you actually get the chance to see footballers in tights, not unless the Arsenal squad go out and do a bank job. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of that first round, David's team have naught and Gary's team have four. Well, On to our photo fit round. We've taken bits of three famous sporting faces and reassembled them into an entirely new one. David's team, take a look at this and tell us whose bits originally belonged to whom. Uh, uh, <laughs> I want to know who's just done something to him. Yeah, looks like Lyle Lovett after he's just received the divorce papers from Julia, doesn't it? <laughs> I reckon that those are Duncan Goodhue's eyes and he's surprised like that because he's got some hair. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah I'll yeah. give you that, Duncan Goodhue's good eyes. And are they Gary's ears? <laughs> Too small, mate. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was going with ears. He, do you know he went bald, Duncan Goodhue, when he fell out of a uh, apple tree? Yeah, I know? head butted a potted plant. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no hair on that chinny chin chin. This is that, that big old jaw there. Either Dolph Lundgren, <laughs> yeah. out of Rocky, or David Coulthard, Coulthard yeah. who are in fact the same person. I will give you a point for that, David Coulthard. And David Coulthard, of course, insists on having his name pronounced Coulthard. So remember that, stupid thosser. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's two you've got. Is yeah, the whole not. bloke, that bloke who comes up to you in Leicester Square and goes, Minicab! <laughs> <laughs> it does look weird. Um, no, no, Sam Torrance. Sam Torrance. But it's too long now. No, I'm going to hand that last bit across before we split at the face. Well, I think we one of these two is. guys will get we this one. Don't we, Ian? It's David Seaman. I always thought it was rather inappropriately named someone called Seaman who keeps so many clean sheets. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that, Rory. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's split them up and see if that's right. You get a point for that. Indeed, is David Seaman. Oh. oh. <laughs> Duncan Goodhue, when he played <laughs> Fester in the... Uh... <laughs> 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 and, yeah, David Coulthard. OK, now over to Gary's team. Which three sporting faces are mixed up here? <laughs> We're definitely talking royal family. <laughs> Is it um, Michael Jackson, first thing in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a horse. Yeah, I think they are. Should we go for a horse? Go for a horse. Yeah. Do you know one? White one. Dead a in. horse. You obviously know about as much about think, horses yeah. as Keith Gillespie, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> a horse? I only like know one white horse. Desert Orchid. Desert Orchid, that's right. Jane Torville. Gary said Jane it. Torville. Gary said Jane Torville. Jane Torville, you're going for. No. No. Okay. Princess no, 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 you can't change that when you have to now go for the other part. Still got the head to get if you can get it, the top of the head. Yeah, yeah it's Gareth Tilcott. Gareth Tilcott. No, we had two oh, across. Oh, Jesus, man. It's oh, like well. anger, wasn't it? We, we do think, <laughs> we do think, the, we do think the jaw. We do think the jaw is Princess Anne. Yes, Princess Anne, who does a lot of work for charity. And is she lets a blind person cut her hair for a start. Is the, top, is the top bit a trick? Is that an arse? <laughs> <laughs> Let's split it up and see who they are. Mm. Is that the egg? Oh, yeah. Yes. So we've got uh, Princess Anne, who remarried three years ago, and that time the lucky man was Captain Mark Phillips. <laughs> and uh, Desert Orchid... Oh, thank you. Take your time, please. Desert Orchid, who has now retired and spends a lot of time opening supermarkets. Still, it's nice to visit old friends, isn't it? <laughs> And Andre Agassi, who in 1993 shaved off all his hair. And apparently the clippings were bought by Rory McGrath. <laughs> so at the end of that round, David's team have three and Gary's team have six. <laughs> right, it's half time now and time to sit back 
and watch the teams as they give their all for absolutely no points. We asked them to provide the voices for some historic sporting footage. David's team first. We'd like you to voice over this practice session by Britain's ice dance superstars, Jane Torville and Christopher Dean. Lovely people. <laughs> oh, right, Jane. Jane, just want to put your arm up in the air. Up there like that. That's it. Bend and over there and... Oh, oh, no, 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 it's no good Come to me, Chris. What? I was out with a girl who was having a drink last what? night. You were? I had a curry and all. I had a few. I just want you to I get. Just... Don't fart for Christ's sake. Oh, don't fart. I'll, I'll promise. I'll, I'll Look, sorry, just, I did. Oh, I'll Jane, you I said did. you wouldn't fart. Now get away from me. Sticks <laughs> gone right to the rafters. It's still hanging up there. I would have been. Sorry about it. Who's David Gower? Who's David? Let's see it on the piss again. Come on, is that revolting smell? No, sir, mate. Don't blame me, that was... Oh, uh, Dave, come on, seriously. Dave, look, look, get yourself, I'm still... Get yourself down I've here. I've still got it, Dave, I'm like a panther. Look. <laughs> Right in, air, right in the air, right in the air. Oh, that's enough for now. Now, seriously. I think that comeback was a bad idea. Uh, I love you, Chris. No, no. <laughs> I love My you, best not me. Friend, I just want your feet in you. the air. <laughs> During the last series, we received a number of complaints from the public after we described Torval and Dean skating as twatting about the ice in a prop. We now accept that this is untrue. Christopher Dean, in fact, twats about the ice in nasty lycra bell bottoms. <laughs> so, Gary's team, your action comes from the 1966 World Cup final. We all know Kenneth Wolstenholme's legendary commentary almost off by heart. But could you tell us, please, how the German commentary team might have voiced this original newsreel footage? Hello and welcome to Wembley. Yes, Wembley, the home of 5,000 Indian restaurants. <laughs> now, we should win this game because we got up very early this morning and put our towels on the pitch. Oh, great <laughs> move by the Germans here. It's going to be a goal. Yes, it's a goal. Von Nil to the Deutschland. Von Nil to the Deutschland. Von Nil to the Lovely, great scenes of enjoyment. Even Helmut Kohl there, he's enjoying it. <laughs> and there's the Proclaimers. Great German fans. <laughs> oh, Yes, now a quick word from Herr Lineker. Schnell. Very funny. <laughs> hey, we know what you live, Tommy. What's happening? This looks dangerous. That never crossed the line. <laughs> that did not cross the line. If that was a goal, then my name is not Heinrich Himmler. Shit, what a giveaway. Oh, they're showing the beginning of that program. They think it's all over. I guess that crappy program on the BBC. <laughs> She's German anyway. But she believes that. <laughs> Of course, 1966 was a great year for English football. Martin Keown was born. <laughs> <laughs> the World Cup was famously nicked just before the tournament that year, but was found under a hedge by Pickles, who was rewarded by being made a High Court judge. <laughs> Ian, you look so upset when Roger Hunt didn't follow that shot in. Well, yeah, I believe if he followed it in, we wouldn't have to have all these bollocks for 30 years about, <laughs> you know, did it cross the line, didn't it cross the line? Well, thank you for your point, right, well, you know. <laughs> You must say that, Ian, it's not often the refs are wrong, though, is it? Not often. <laughs> I love the refs. I love referees. Don't you find, Ian, that often it's the people you love that you hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Nick, I'm glad you said that. Do you know that. what I mean? You know? Right, back to the game now. And round three <laughs> is our author author round. All sports people make mistakes during their careers, but few are more catastrophic than attempting to write an autobiography. This round pays tribute to those who have tried and failed. David's team first. Can you tell us, please, who wrote this? We form the Nerds and the Julios. A nerd needs no explanation, while the Julios, the good-looking blokes in the squad, take their name from Julio Iglesias. The Nerds are Maisie, Heels, Tubby, A.B., Me, Tugger, Ziggy, Babsy, Zimmo and Pistol. The Julios are Hooter, Slats, B.J., Billy, Junior, Unit, Warney, Cracker and Motto. <laughs> That's a cast list for Graham's Yard, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I'll just say, I've used all those names while working and signing on. <laughs> and I have this feeling, mm -hmm. which I won't talk about now. <laughs> Both hands on the table, I like that recording. <laughs> no, it's, it's, those are all Australian cricketers. There were 19 of them. And we've worked it out, that's how they beat us. So <laughs> <laughs> because they had far too many people on the pitch. It's 11th point, thank you. Um, if you've got to explain it, it ain't funny. Carry on. 
Look at the names of the day. I reckon it must have been Merv Hughes who wrote the book. Absolutely correct, Merv Hughes. <laughs> from his... point. <laughs> there it is, from his diary of the 1993 tour of England. <clears throat> he also mentions uh, some of the England team's nicknames as well. They've got similar nicknames. Droppy, Useless, Norto, Corto, Boldo, Legbiforo and Atherton. <laughs> David Gower's nickname, of course, was Started Brightly, then Chased a Wide One to Third, third Slipper. Is that easy to say? No. <laughs> David Gower's nickname, of course, was Chased or Started Brightly. <laughs> Table, David it? Gower, of course, didn't have a nickname. <laughs> <laughs> right, Gary's side now. Another sporting diary for you, whose fast lane existence is written down here. Something very unusual happens today. For the first time in about five years, I hand wash and hoover the cars. I celebrate our six-point lead at the top in style by creosoting the new fence. <laughs> Obviously a pretty wild character. <laughs> Nigel Mansell in it in party mode. The <laughs> <laughs> fence is someone who serves, sells stolen goods, isn't it? Yeah. So who would creosote a fence? David Hillier. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's... Um, We're tall. England striker. What do the ladies and gentlemen think? <laughs> <laughs> do, we think do we think it's well, Alan Shearer? Do you want a clue, Rory? It's... Do you want a clue? Have you got one? Yeah, well, I'm going to narrow it down for you. It says, I celebrate our six-point lead at the top in style, because it can't be West Ham. <laughs> <laughs> Alan Shearer. Alan Shearer is absolutely correct. Oh, oh very good. Well, 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 well. There's also another bit in it, apparently, where he says he scored his first goal for England, rushed home, hurled his wife onto the bed, and hoovered where she'd been standing. <laughs> <laughs> After the match, apparently, when all the lads are in the communal bath having a good old sing-song and drinking the ale, he's the one having a good go at the taps with liquid gumption. <laughs> so, at the end of that round, David's team have six and Gary's team have nine. It's time now for Gary's favourite round, Feel the Sportsman. Our team members are blindfolded and have to identify a mystery sporting personality by touch alone. David and Lee, you're up first. If you'd like to get to uh, the front, please. Take your blindfolds with you. Don't forget the code, all right? Cough if it's a cricketer. Yeah, all right. <laughs> OK, can we have our first mystery guest, please? <laughs> Okay, your 90 seconds start now. Cease. Oh! Is it Frank Boff? <laughs> what was the problem? Okay, fair Socks. Socks. What colours are you wearing? Oh, where's Andy? <laughs> right. Keep Too much gel. There. Too much gel, girls. <laughs> Hang on, sorry, so, sorry about this. It's, um... Uh, I'll give you a clue. He's he Welsh, a, a bit he's like Welsh. Prince Charles is Welsh. He's Welsh like Prince Charles is Welsh. Yeah. Right. Did you know Di? Well, so he's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, no, it's not. No. <laughs> hang on. Got hands. Got that. Um, are they rough hands? Hang on. Excuse me. Quite smooth, actually. Are they cold hands? <laughs> this is a touching scene. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Well, <laughs> well, give us a clue. <laughs> <laughs> What was, what was the code again? Cough. Oh, sure. OK, we're running Welsh. out of time. Um, Welsh rugby player. It's, uh, Six seconds. Uh, Jones. 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 <laughs> Gareth Edwards. Three, two, Gareth Edwards, he's small. That's your time. Can't we? Who played that? Billy Jones, ladies and gentlemen. Classic yeah. subtlety from Mr. Well, Linegar when he when he came in. What did you say? Hi, Vinny. I, oh, I, I, Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear him. <laughs> Where did the ears come from? Vinny brought them on. Did they? Well, they yeah, we don't know whose they are, by the way. He's just ripped them off somebody outside. He did say it. When you say it, he'll say it's his name, Jones. Yeah, did he? Well, I didn't hear you. Bad luck. No. 
okay. No, no, come on. Hey, cheer, cheer if you want us to score some points. One, two, three. three. What the f you got to do with you? <laughs> Over to Gary's team now. Gary and Rory, if you'd like to take your positions, please. I don't start all what? that. Get your codes and your team, please. <laughs> okay, it's on. <laughs> and can we have our next mystery guest, please? Hello, Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, try and find a code for that, Ian. <laughs> OK, your 90 seconds start now. I thought I heard a lot of footprints there. Right. <laughs> Is that you? Yeah, Ian? Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ow. Man, I met Madame Jojo's the other night. You <laughs> <laughs> think? Nice arms. They're sort of. I've of counted them. four. Have you? Yeah. Yeah. And they've all got. Oh! <laughs> it's got. Is it? Um, well, try to make Bob Slay team of some description. I. Uh, How, uh, which which Bob Slay team? <laughs> the British Bob Slay team. I think we might have to give you that. Yeah. <laughs> That's not easy. Great. Nice one, mate. Nice one. Brilliant. Nice one. Was it? It's a bit easy. Yeah, I mean, tough, it's, it's got to be yeah. a bobsled team unless it's a British speedway team had their bikes nicked. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. So at the end of that round, David's team have six and Gary's team have twelve. It's time now for our final deciding name game. We give one team member an envelope containing a list of sporting names. Using his pitifully inadequate sporting knowledge, he gives clues to his fellow team members who have 90 seconds to guess as many names as they can. There's no passing, Rory, no passing, and no rhyming clues, and no just saying the name either. <laughs> Gary's team are winning, so you go first. Can you pass that across to Rory? Thank you very much. And your 90 seconds start now. Oh, God, uh, okay. Spanish golfer. So round of the That's a one, yeah. Um, I bet he drinks round at Kensington Palace. Will Carlin. Will Carlin. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Arsenal midfielder, a bit injured uh, at the moment. David Nick, Platt. Correct, yeah, could be anyone. Uh, boxing, <laughs> boxing promoter. He Don likes, King. He likes to what, Frank Warren. Something people up. Duff. Duff. Mickey yeah, Duff. Mickey yeah, Duff. Yeah, um, <laughs> uh, don't know what this person Mickey. does, but his second name rhymes with a singular of another word for bulls. <laughs> uh, singular is bollock, Gary. <laughs> Is that a rhyming Pollock. clue? I think we're back on that bloke with nine balls. Pollock. Pollock. Sean Pollock. Uh, Manchester, Sean United, Pollock yeah. Manchester United. Manchester United. And bottom. S bottom is a. Uh, Arse, is a. Uh, it's um, a. You know. Ass. Backside. It consists of two. The bottom consists Cheeks. of two. Parts. <laughs> <laughs> Buttocks. No, uh, but if you knock the ox off the end. Buttocks. Nicky Block. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's something like a lady cricketer or a lady golfer, but you know that white stuff? No, not that white stuff. Uh, <laughs> co <laughs> comes out of the sky in the winter. And, and you make it into... Snow. Snowball! Yeah, Betty Snowball! Betty yeah. Snowball! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah! I'm getting good at this. This is an athlete, I think, who's... Another word for very is... Much. Very... <laughs> yeah, highly, <laughs> highly, High highly... Oh. Highly... High highly... 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 That'll, that's I, I can do it. Here, uh, yeah. Liverpool defender, you shave with, with a razor on it. Yes, that's great. All right. Um, <laughs> oh, let's try and work that one. Let's take at least Gabriel three away. Selassie. <laughs> I said highly Gabriel Selassie. Yeah. yeah. He gave it you for Heinke Dressler. Heinke <laughs> <laughs> Dressler was the next one on the card. Uh, we're going to minus three off that total that says there. So you've got 16. David, we've got six. So that means you need ten, by the way, to get level. All right. What is this rhyming lark thing? We can't. We can't do rhyming words. Just constantly. We can't use rhyming words. Yeah. Well, you can't do things like bollock and pollock. He's saying. Right. Is that what you were stopped for? I believe so. Yeah. I wasn't you really oh yeah, actually, should lose one more for that. Yeah, that's good. <laughs>
Strand of 15 now. <laughs> Your 90 seconds start now. Good luck, Lee. Good uh, luck, mate. German tennis player, Mal. Becker. Boris Becker. Correct. Uh, our fighter is going to lose to Tyson in like two Frank seconds. Frank Bruno. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sprinter, 100 metre world champion, our bloke. Our bloke. Lunchbox, Chris. Christy, yeah. uh, cricket in wicketkeeper. Like cricket wicket Jack keeper. Russell. No, the other one, you could tie him up in. <laughs> Not. Um, Alan Knott. Correct. Uh, a rugby, England's rugby union bloke. His surname is... Like <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, she used to be... Uh, so, her last surname used to be Slaney and she was knocked over by Zola Bud in the running. Oh, exactly. um, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah uh, South Africa. Africa. First name is Jesus' no, no, mum. First name is Jesus' mum. Mary. Mary. Mary and the second one is... Yeah, yeah. We can do Emily you want. Yeah. Uh, next one, England Paddles. midfielder. And it's, uh, he's, he's England midfielder. And his first name is the same as the bloke who beat uh, Goliath. That David. Nice. Correct. Flat. And his second name is what Mrs. Thatcher is. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, you, what you used to use at cricket, you Bats. know, no, gin. <laughs> no, yeah, correct. Uh, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> This is, a, this is like a, a bit of grassland and you'd run across it with no clothes on. <laughs> right, you've got no, you know, like a meadow. A lawn, right? a lawn, you know, like a meadow. Hampstead, yeah. Hampstead. Well, yeah, he's, first name, he's second name is Brex. Well done. Good, good one. Good at this. Uh, Cameroon football, you run around the flagpole, went, ah. Miller, Roger right. Miller. Correct. Well done. Uh, yeah. sir, first name is, uh, not Arthur. Cooper, but he's, uh, <laughs> he's Christian. Jimmy, Minnie. No, <laughs> not Cooper. <laughs> Somebody the eighth. Henry, Henry, Henry. Henry. Correct. Oh, oh, Henry Cooper. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, brilliant. What about Black? Absolutely brilliantly. That means that the score is level, and we have to go to a tie-break situation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah. What's all this lot then? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, this tie-break situation. Does it involve you going two points to Gary? <laughs> <laughs> No, we're going to watch a little bit of film. Hey, we're going to see oh, nice. Ray Parler, I and I want you to concentrate on this film, and then I'll be asking you a question. Uh, yeah, obviously, two years ago I was playing in the youth team, and now I'm playing at Wembley. So obviously, I'm just going to enjoy myself, and hopefully, come out on the winning side. Can you enjoy yourself? Uh, obviously, if you go out there and try and enjoy yourself, I think it brings the best out of you. Uh, we're going to go out and try and enjoy ourselves, and uh, obviously, try and get the result. How does the occasion compare to the Coca-Cola final? Obviously, it's the, the biggest cup in the world, right, in my eyes. Uh, obviously, it's good to win the Coca-Cola, but overall, I'd rather win this one than the Coca-Cola, and obviously, uh, we're going to go out and try and win it. The answer is six. Probably. Is, yeah. six. OK, oh, the question is, how many times is the word obviously used? You've gone for six, five. And, and you've gone for five. And Gary's team is the winner, because it was seven. Oh, so, Gary's oh, team wins the game this week. Oh. So our thanks to David Gower, Lee Hurst and Neil Morrissey and Gary Lineker, Rory McGrath and Ian Wright. We're all off for a showbiz night of drugs and sex with Keith Harris and Orville. <laughs> My name's Nick Hancock. They think it's all over. It is now.